Oh no, another Souls-like game. Also lacking in inclusivity and diversity. Get these clowns out of here. Black Myth Wukong is like a nature documentary on steroids. Starring a monkey with a magical staff who's here to remind you that even gods and demons aren't safe from a good old-fashioned beatdown. This is basically what happens when you mix Dark Souls with a heavy dose of Chinese mythology and give it the visual polish of a Hollywood blockbuster. Let's kick things off with the combat, because let's be honest, that's what we're all here for. If you're into games like Dark Souls, Sekiro, or Elden Ring, you're gonna feel right at home. The combat is fast, fluid, and packs a serious punch. Wukong's abilities are diverse and incredibly satisfying to use. You've got your dodges, parries, and a whole arsenal of cool moves that keep each fight interesting. The game does a great job of making you feel powerful without giving you a free pass. You'll still need to be on your toes because the enemies in this game do not mess around. Timing is everything, and the combat rewards you for being precise. Wukong's ability to transform into different creatures mid-combat adds a layer of depth that keeps things fresh. Each form has its own strengths and weaknesses, and figuring out which to use in each situation is a game in itself. Oh, and the boss fights are so epic. They've got their own personalities and unique attack patterns that make every encounter feel memorable. Timing is key in Black Myth Wukong. Players need to learn how to parry and dodge effectively to survive, especially during boss encounters, where one wrong move can lead to a quick death. The game also features a wide range of enemies, each inspired by Chinese mythology. These range from standard grunts to massive bosses, each with their own unique attack patterns and weaknesses. Boss battles are especially challenging and require a combination of strategy, quick reflexes, and mastery of Wukong's abilities. The bosses I'm showing in this video are the ones from the start of the game in the first few hours. I will try not to show too many of them, so I don't spoil too much, and you can find them yourself. But hey, no game's perfect, right? So let's talk about where Black Myth Wukong stumbles a bit. The game has these incredible high points, but there are also stretches where it feels like you're just wandering around, waiting for something exciting to happen. The story, while intriguing, can be a bit hard to follow at times, especially if you're not familiar with the source material. There's a lot of lore and mythological references that can go over your head if you're not paying close attention. And then, there's the camera. During some of the more chaotic fights, the camera can get a little let's say, uncooperative. It's not a deal-breaker, but it can definitely be frustrating when you're trying to dodge an attack and suddenly you're staring at a wall instead of the enemy. And for me, the most immersion-breaking thing is the invisible walls. They could have just made a forest or a mountain or a wall to block your movement, but they literally have invisible walls, stopping you from going off boundaries. You can't even jump off a cliff or a bridge as these invisible walls are stopping you. The performance is also a bit of a problem, as I did get lots of frame drops during certain boss fights. Not something game-breaking, but it's noticeable enough. I also changed and tried with the lowest settings, and I was still getting performance issues at certain bosses. Not in all the game, just certain bosses, like the White Wolf Link Suzy, for example. Now let's talk about art design. One of the standout features of Black Myth Wukong is its breathtaking visual design. The game is built on Unreal Engine 5 which allows for incredibly detailed environments, lifelike character models, and stunning particle effects. The art direction leans heavily into the mythical and the surreal, with environments that range from dark, eerie forests to sunlit mountainsides and crumbling temples. The story, if you do get immersed into it, it's based on the classic 16th century Chinese novel Journey to the West, which follows the adventures of the monkey king Sun Wukong, a legendary figure with the ability to transform into various creatures wielding a magical staff and perform extraordinary feats of agility. The journey will have Wukong battle against a variety of mythical creatures and gods, attempting to uncover the mysteries of his own past and destiny. The world is deeply rooted in Chinese mythology, filled with references to legendary creatures, deities, and iconic locations from Journey to the West. The atmosphere is dark and mysterious, with each area you explore offering a different piece of the narrative puzzle. I don't want to give any spoilers, as the story itself is very unique from the usual Western games, so it might resonate with you and it might not. But again, the core of Black Myth Wukong is its combat system, which has been compared to other action RPGs like Dark Souls and Sekiro. But if I personally had to compare it to another game, it would be Star Wars Jedi Survivor, as it does have Souls-like elements, but with its own unique mechanics. Just like in the Star Wars Jedi Survivor that has the lightsaber, you have the staff here, and everything's made to boost your main weapon. You can make different builds with different abilities, but they are there to improve your staff. 
You can respect so I recommend you try to experiment with different stances. Like you can get some mage abilities where you can stun enemies or like a stealth assassin. But you can't go full mage or assassin build, as you will still use your main weapon, the staff. The magical staff can change its size and shape. It can be used for both fast, close quarters combat and long range attacks, giving players flexibility in how they approach each encounter. Now the transformations are that unique mechanics that I was talking about, and they completely change your game. You can become a giant berserker that uses fists, to a guy with a rock instead of a head that smashes the ground, or even a small fly that can slip past enemies. There are so many possibilities and all of this makes for one of the most unique games I've ever played. Since I'm talking about the skills, if you are just starting the game, I recommend you choose a stance you like and keep upgrading it. But most importantly, maximize your health, stamina and mana. Having higher main stats is going to make your playthrough way easier and more enjoyable. Now, let's talk about the world itself. Chapter 1 is more linear, but as soon as you progress a bit, you will find yourself into a huge world to discover. It will literally take you days to explore everything. And I really recommend you explore the world, as you will find lots of secrets. Always be on the lookout for these golden containers or similar boxes, which give you permanent upgrades to your main stats, the health, stamina and mana. You will also find lots of treasure chests that will offer lots of upgrade ingredients, crafting resources and most importantly items to help with the stat upgrades. The one I strongly recommend you keep an eye out for are the Logia Fragrant Vine, as this will help you upgrade your gourds, basically your health potions. Also very important is to get all the Keeper's Shrines. These are basically your bonfire or grace, where you can rest and reset everything. Obtaining materials will also allow you to craft your own armor at these shrines, the headgear, chest, arms and legs. There are also meditation spots that provide extra points to invest into your skills. You will also find lots of friendly characters throughout the world that will give you some amazing quests usually with some of the best rewards in the game. Highly recommend you search all of these NPCs. So, what's the final verdict? Black Myth Wukong is a visually stunning, mechanically deep game that's sure to please fans of challenging action RPGs and souls-like genre. The combat is a standout, with a variety of moves and strategies to keep you engaged, especially the unique transformation mechanics. The game's art style draws inspiration from traditional Chinese art, with a mix of realism and stylized design that makes the world feel both grounded and otherworldly. The attention to detail in the character designs, especially the enemies and bosses, adds to the game's immersion. However, it's not without its flaws like pacing issues and a sometimes finicky camera that can take away from the experience. But if you're up for a challenge and ready to dive into a beautifully crafted world, this game is definitely worth your time. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and let me know in the comments what you think of Black Myth Wukong.